Good morning, I'm Dr. Art Molin with your Molin Minute of the Day. I wanted to tell you the differences between the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine, both of which are about 95% effective. Now, the Pfizer vaccine is available for 16-year-olds and above. However, the Moderna vaccine, you have to be 18 and older, and it has a slightly lower efficacy in older adults than the Pfizer vaccine. Now, the Pfizer vaccine has some allergic reactions that have been associated with it, but the Moderna vaccine has not. Therefore, after receiving your shot, you have to wait around for at least 15 minutes. Now, the Pfizer vaccine is more difficult to transport and store to the extraordinarily colder storage temperatures of minus 94 degrees. This makes it difficult for doctor's office to actually administer it in the future. Whereas the Moderna vaccine has a 30-day window for storage in traditional refrigerator freezers. Now, the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine is given about 21 days later. The Moderna vaccine is given 28 days later. Finally, we do not know how long the immunity will last with either vaccine and if you'll need another immunization every year, just like you get the flu. That's your Molin Minute of the Morning. Hi, Dr. Art. It's Kim Kim here. Hey, I have a couple of questions. I don't know if you know the answers to these. How are we to know that we are going to be protected with this vaccine for a period of time if we don't even know how long it will last? It seems like that would be kind of a turnoff to people getting the vaccine if they might actually be falsely protected um, within, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten months. Yeah, exactly. Well, about 60 percent of the people are starting to warm up to the vaccine and say that they actually will get it, as opposed to about, uh, say, 40 percent who were thinking maybe they'd get the vaccine and maybe they would not. So uh, we don't know how long the vaccine will last. We're hoping that it uh, will last a lifetime. We don't know whether or not you'll need another vaccine. Some of the antibodies will start to be produced within about a two week period. So once you get the first shot, you'll have about a 50 two percent protection with the Pfizer vaccine. And then after you get the second shot, you'll have about a 95 percent protection from it. So we're hoping that it lasts a lot longer. However, once you get the shot, you can still potentially transmit the virus. You could be a spreader, even though you have actually been immunized. So we don't know all the facts about this. We're learning a lot more about it as we go forward. And then uh, one last question. There are reports circulating that some of these vaccines have fetal cells of aborted babies in them. And a lot of faith based groups are saying we don't want to get these vaccines, knowing that uh, fetal cells are within these vaccines. Do the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccines have fetal cells of aborted babies in them? I do. I don't think so. Uh, these vaccines, again, you know, they're called mRNA. That's uh, basically a messenger for RNA, which is, uh, you know, something that uh, helps to open up your immune system. So it unlocks a code. But as far as having fetal cells and from uh, fetuses, absolutely not. I, I've not heard anything you know, to substantiate that. There's no scientific evidence in the literature that's supporting anything like that. So I think it may be anti-vax people, but mm-hmm. it's important to get the shot. Uh, I received my first shot uh, yesterday, actually. How are so. you feeling or how did you feel after sore, you got it? Well, I have a sore arm. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling absolutely fine. I do have a sore arm. I will admit that. So, Our, but uh, hopefully uh, that'll go away by the end of the day.